I covered up the big ugly closet door that's always there in the way of all the spookiness. And I got my Halloween lights on, although you can't really see because this giant light. But hey, it's the giant light that makes me look good. Am I right? <laughs> Hey there creepy peeps and happy October. So as you may know by now, I posted a small little video yesterday about this, but in case you completely ignored it and didn't watch it, which is totally fine. Um, <laughs> in case you didn't see that, I'm going to be participating in the 31 days of horror this month, meaning it's gonna be just like I did in June. You will have a new horror movie review every single day of this month until Halloween. Well, on Halloween too, until November 1st. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, this time, again, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, quickly, I decided to <laughs> go through mm, the great majority of all my old videos, which was a lot, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and pick out your suggestions and finally go through them because I know a lot of times I don't get to y'all suggestions even though I ask for them which is really crappy of me so this is a way for me to catch up with them and then we can start the clean slate because I've been way better at saving y'all suggestions in my computer so that way when I do your video I can put your comment up which I really want to do. Um, so about half-ish of the movies I'll be reviewing this month are your guys' suggestions from the past and I will put your comment up here if it is a suggested movie that I'm reviewing. And then the rest of these, I just filled them in with ones that I really wanted to watch and still haven't gotten around to watching. So, don't really know what the theme is, if there needs to be a theme. Um, yeah, basically. So we're just going to jump right into it. Today I'm going to be talking about The Slumber Party Massacre, directed by Amy Holden Jones. This movie is a slasher movie from the early 1980s, and it follows, as you would imagine, a slumber party that is attacked by a psycho serial killer that uses a uh, drill as his main murder weapon, which is interesting. <laughs> so. The good. Uh, it's definitely a classic slasher paradigm. Um, I like that it involves more females than typical slashers. Like usually you kind of got like almost like a 50-50 split in your classic classic slasher movies um, with like the jock ones and things like that. Um, usually typically being guys. Um, and the nerdy ones are typically guys as well uh, <laughs> in these slasher films. So I like that this one had like kind of like your main group was mostly female. So you kind of had like your classic slasher characters but in female form which was really cool. Um, and of course we have our final girl. Of course we have our final girl as well. I have a really bad feeling that I'm not going to be able to talk. I'm gonna keep stumbling over my words, sorry. Um, also, another great thing I really liked about this movie was that it was cheesy. What the hell is that? Is that noise picking up on the camera? Okay, anyways, uh, this movie was cheesy as fuck, seriously. <laughs> Watching it now in 2016, this movie came out in 1982. Watching it now. <laughs> It's, 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 it's pretty bad, uh, <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, it's really cheesy. I like cheesy things. I like that it's like really silly and kind of terrible, um, so I really enjoy that. So that was okay for me. Um, if you're really not into that sort of thing, I don't think I can recommend this movie to you. Um, things I didn't quite find so great about the movie um, was that I read that this movie was originally meant to be a parody of slasher movies, but then it wasn't filmed that way. It was filmed in the more classic horror slasher style. But I feel like <laughs> as it was probably written as a parody, a lot of that humor stayed in the movie and I just feel like the humor 
to horror balance was slightly off, like more in favor of the humor. So just, just the mix, the mix was not, it wasn't, you know, wasn't well mixed. There's a little bit too much funny and a little not enough horror for my taste. And the women, as I said, this movie is predominantly women, of course. Um, I was gonna say, of course, as it is a slumber party. You guys can have a slumber party too. But most of the cast is female, and I'm surprised this <laughs> movie doesn't get a little more attention in the the horror field because I feel like it's like I feel like it's totally feminist. <laughs> Like most, most of the girls survive. Actually, I think there's like, let me count, let me count. How many was there? There was like the two friends. I don't remember all their character names. There was that one like kind of bitchy one that just wanted to have sex with her boyfriend. Um, there was the main final girl, Trish. And then there was the final girl and her sister. And the coach, we'll count the coach as well. Um, so there's like seven female characters as opposed to, oh, and then there's that one that gets knocked off in the beginning. So technically there's like eight, um, the one that gets, and the, the repair lady that gets, so nine, nine, <laughs> nine total females, including the deaths and stuff, um, as opposed to three guys that bite the dust. Um, and out of those nine girls, see, so <laughs> we're counting now. Nine got two got knocked off in the beginning. They're like unimportant, but I'm still gonna count them. Um, <laughs> unimportant characters, like your basic like opening of the movie kills, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Um, there's that one. Does that one die? can't remember if she dies. So there's like three or four, <laughs> three or four uh, female survivors at the end of this. And there's only like three guys in this entire movie that like really factor into anything. Like as far as like they're in the action, like they're in danger of being killed and you know what I mean. So I, just, I found that com like really interesting and why that's not more talked about. I don't know. Um, so overall, I did enjoy watching the movie. I really had a good time watching it. <laughs> I just feel like the the level of humor in there, like the amount of humor in there was a little much for me. So I don't know that I'll watch it that many more times. This is definitely one of those movies you're having friends over for a good time, get some pizza, get some beer. This is a great movie for that. Um, so let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the Slumber Party Massacre if you've seen it. And until tomorrow, stay strange. Bye. Alright guys, be sure to subscribe by clicking this annotation right down here. If you want to follow me for the rest of this month, we've got 30 more movie reviews to go.